Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle news update. This just in, as a lot of people may have heard already, uh, David Durth, IFBB Pro Bodybuilder, has passed away over the last 24 hours. Uh, I, fa I actually found out yesterday, but I was asked by a, a good friend of his not to say anything because the family wanted to make an announcement or his, his best friend wanted to make an announcement uh, and they wanted to send up a GoFundMe campaign for David. Uh, David was a, a very, very popular bodybuilder back in the 90s into the early 2000s. He was one of the guys that had gone over to Vince McMahon's organization, the WBF, at one point you know, for a couple of years. Uh, then he came back and he had a very successful career in the IFBB. He was a very well-liked guy, you know, but he was, you know, by his own admission, a crazy partier. He went out, he lived life way too high. We luckily, thank God, you know, I got him on the TV show in, back in May. We did a two-part, two weeks apart. It was, so, it was so popular, it was so good, the interview, that I, I didn't want to... I didn't want to end it prematurely. We did two parts, two weeks in a row with David about the early part of his career and then the latter part of his, uh, his life that he's had so far, leading up until the point of his death, pretty much. And we learned about his ups, his downs, what makes him tick, what he learned. And he seemed to be in a very peaceful place. You know, when I talked to him last, he, he, you know, he had had some, some, some bad times and he had made a comeback of sorts in his own mind. He was back in the gym training. He was doing a lot of God's work. He was working with the horses in West Virginia, you know, the race horses, something that he was very passionate about. He found a lot of peace and solitude there. And he, and he posted a lot on Facebook, you know, and he, and he gave out a lot of positive messages. And, and, and people really, really liked that interview that we did. It was honest. He, he didn't try to paint himself as any kind of superstar. He was very humble in the interview. And he basically just said, hey, this is who I am. And this is the life I lived. And now I'm going to try to make the best of it. And I'm going to try to you know, make it something better than it was. And, and you know, he, by, I, I'm pretty sure he told me too, but I know he had a, a heart condition. Now, from what I understand, he had, uh, from what his post, at least on Facebook, said, he had gone to Saratoga with the horses. Uh, he was, I don't know, I don't know if he was getting a horse ready to, for the end of the day, and he was giving it water and, and, and hay, whatever, and he reached back and he, he heard a pop and he tore his bicep. And I think he actually herniated a disc too at the same time. He had to still drive back with the horse 12 hours back to West Virginia. When he got back there, he went to the emergency room and obviously found out he had torn his bicep and he, and he had surgery to repair it. Now, I, I think he had, this was a multi, he had torn his bicep multiple times from what I think if I understood the post correctly. What happened over the next 24 hours after he got the surgery was he developed some hematomas and some, some abscesses, you know, some, basically an infection in there. So I believe they went back in and cleaned it out. Now, I'm, the, the time frame I'm not certain about is he had a heart attack or, or he went into heart failure. At some point, I believe it was after this procedure, I don't think it was during the procedure, and he died. And I don't know the exact details. We haven't gotten really an autopsy or a report back yet. But he did have a heart attack, and it was probably due to a pre-existing heart condition that he had. It, I don't believe it was uh, you know, triggered by the surgery, although surgery in and of itself is very stressful to the body. So if the body is not able to handle it, and you have a weakness somewhere, especially in your heart, you, you certainly at any time could, you know, it can give out. Now, it's also possible that if he had an abscess in his bicep where it was repaired, that a clot could have, you know, broken off and possibly gone to his lungs or, or even his heart, and, and that could have caused the heart attack. We don't know because we don't have the full report. But what I do want to report is that he will be greatly missed. And uh, it was unfortunate because I was really planning on doing some more stuff with him in the future because I think he, he's good because he has a lot of wisdom He's lived a lot of life and he had, you know, he had a lot to give back to the bodybuilding community to help people maybe avoid some of the mistakes that he made back in the day and to stay more focused on, on the path of bodybuilding and being productive and being positive about what you do. So, you know, it's, I hate to report these things. I keep saying it. It seems like every week or every couple of weeks I'm reporting on, on the death of another person in our industry and it's sad, obviously. Uh, we don't want to see these guys go, especially the really good guys. And um, but that's life, you know. People die, people are born, and not everyone is going to live to 100 years old. We all want to believe that we are, but that's just not the case. And you know, people get sick, and things happen to people. The best thing you can do is, is try to keep your health on, on course. You know, try to reduce stress as much as possible in your life, and uh, and and don't live with any regrets. And I think that that would be the one message that David Durth would want to give out to all the fans watching this: Don't live with regrets. He didn't. He lived his life on his own terms, 
And that's why he felt fulfilled at the end. I sent my prayers out to his, his girlfriend and his family from our whole family here at RX Muscle. I'm Dave Palumbo with the Dave Palumbo RX Muscle News Update.